Hey guys, welcome to Pinoy Interactive Videos. My name is Jerry Senese and this is another video tutorial. So since it's almost Christmas season, a lot of people are taking night photos into the next level. So they use fairy lights, they use lanterns, they use lampposts, pretty background, LED lights, and all of those colorful lights that you can see outside. But a lot of people are also having troubles editing those photos and making it to a nice aesthetic. So what I'm going to be teaching you today is called the night lights aesthetic. This is the style that I use in pretty much all of my photos. So I'm basically sharing my secret technique in this particular tutorial. So um, as soon as you're done watching, you can go ahead and give it a try. Before we get started, I am returning on Facebook. So please go ahead and add me on Facebook. I will be accepting everyone who sends me a friend request. And I'm going to be active there again. I'm going to be posting all of the photos that I've been taking recently. And I'll be posting some video tutorials there as well. So if you have any questions or any tips that you need in terms of editing your photos, go ahead and shoot me a message through Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Also, if this video gets 100 likes, then I will be creating a new tutorial for you guys. So please be generous and like the video right now. So let's get started. So the app that I'm using for this particular edit would be Lightroom. Um, my particular version is Lightroom 5.4. So you could install that in your PC or laptop, or you could also put it in your mobile phones like Android and iPhone. Open up the app and then pull up the um, picture that you want to edit. And in this case, I'll be editing this photo that I took in Kamaligan Kamarina Swear. My model was Trina Lindaya, which is a very, very nice young lady. Um, I was with Raymond Robles, Osh, and Dance Navarro, uh, the admins of Streets of Naga. Oops, I'm not supposed to say that, but I did. Yeah, so they're the admins. So I'm pretty sure you guys noticed that I love taking night photos and then um, just a tip when you're taking night photos make sure that the face of your subject is illuminated by something like a lamp or a headlight or even a flash but in this case I used the sparklers for this particular shoot. Now let's go ahead and get started. So first off instead of starting with the basic module just like what we did in the previous tutorials we're going to start from the bottom we are going to start with the camera calibration you would be at 50 for red primary uh, for green primary it will be 100 and then blue primary would be less than 100 or negative 100 then bam that's already a big difference in terms of editing now um, I prefer to have more blues in this particular photo because there's a lot more red on it so you could go back to basic module and then decrease the temperature until you get the enough blues into your photo that's too much there how about there then after that um, you could go ahead and adjust the exposure of the particular photo and in this case I will put the exposure just around 0.30 contrast would be plus 17 so you could get the details of the face highlights will be put to a minimum which is negative 100 I want to see the details of the sparklers uh, we're gonna deal with our face later we're gonna light that up because right now it looks like chocolate <laughs> shadows will be plus 24 you could put in some shadows in there and then Whites would be at negative 33. I'm going to decrease the whites for that. And then for the blacks, we are going to increase that by plus 31. Because, you know, I want to see the details of the other things inside. Clarity would be plus 10 all the time. Vibrance is plus 10 all the time. And saturation is minus 10. I do that consistently in all of my photos. Don't ask me why. Just do that. <laughs> um, tone curve, just increase this a bit to crush the blacks and then um, highlights would be here, just move it towards the left. Um, U saturation luminance, start with luminance. Um, you might want to form like a letter C 
with that. There. Okay, so we basically already made the, quite some change in the original photo. Next would be you. Uh, on you, all you have to do is make sure that red and orange goes to the left and then aqua goes to the right and blue goes to the left as well. So that's usually my color scheme. So we have like pinkish blue aesthetic and that's the before and after. I don't I like the saturation of this so I will not be doing anything with saturation this time. Highlights I put it at eight if you put it higher, it would be too saturated. If you like it that way, it's up to you, but for me it's just 8, so it's just a bit more pinkish. Shadows would also be an 8, but I put it on the teal area, like 184, no, 189. Also, same concept, if you increase that, then it would be very blue. So I just put it at 8, or maybe 16. Or that's too much, yeah, 8. And if you would notice, the photo is too noisy. I mean, it's grainy because that's the risk of night shoot. You have a high ISO. I took this with a, a Panasonic Lumix GF1, very old model, 2009. It's a, with an ISO of 820 millimeter pancake lens. Uh, depth of field is 1.7, and then the shutter speed is 1 over 15. So. In order for us to reduce the noise in this particular photo, noise reduction would be set at 50%, 50, and then color noise reduction would be also be at 50. Let me do that. There you go. So it's, it's a lot cleaner this time. And I already like this particular edit. So if you are looking at the before picture, which is already nice becomes nicer and Instagram worthy because of the edits that we've done but of course we're not yet done with that um, just like what I mentioned I want to fix uh, work on some of the things on her face so it stands out a bit more um, let me go ahead and show you how to use the radial filter on top so on our previous lessons or tutorials we're using the graduated filter this time we're using the radial filter. All you have to do is click that and then you highlight her face. There, that's perfect. I increase the exposure a bit and then the contrast a bit more because I want to see the details on her face. Highlights just, you know, not that much. And then shadows would be maybe plus 10. And clarity, I want it to be very clear, so maybe 13. And then saturation, I want it to add negative 10. Sharpness, I want it to be sharp, but I also want to get rid of the noise because of the sharpness, so I'll put it at negative 43 for that. And then I'm pretty much happy with that particular picture. Um, but another thing I do for the radial filter is I not I, I use it not only for the face of the subject, I also use it for the other parts aside from the subject. So I just create a new radial mask. There you go. This time around, instead of applying it inside the circle, we're, ex we're going to apply it outside of the circle. So all we have to do is click the invert mask, uncheck that. So make sure it's not checked. And then go ahead and play. So we could decrease the exposure, so it's darker, contrast would be less, highlight would be less, shadows would be less, clarity would be a whole lot less, and then sharpness would be a whole lot less as well, as well as the noise. So there. And if you want to change the color of some of the highlights here, um, you could go to the color and then select whatever color you want to choose. So for example, I want to have the main theme of maybe green. You could just select green and it would be green. But in my case, I go for pink. And then if you want to control the saturation of pink, then just control this right here. There you go. Right about there. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm pretty much happy with that particular picture, but I want to do some more editing that I could teach you. Um, another button that you could use would be the brush function on top. So we, I already taught you how to use the graduated, oops, I already taught you how to use the graduated filter before. Now I'm teaching you radial filter, and this time we are going to use the brush function. So, all we have to do is tick the brush icon and then just highlight or you know draw over her lips because I want to change the color of her lips so just press the O button in your laptop or computer by the way the brush the brush functionality is not available on the mobile device so if you want to use this feature make sure it's installed in your computer so right now I am painting over her lip um, this is not the color that I'm gonna be selecting it's just a mask you remember I pressed the letter O so if I press letter O again that will be gone it's just showing me which parts are highlighted so what I do is I select color for the lips let's say I'll go with pink here and I want it a bit darker. I'm really bad with makeup, so forgive me if I should am I'm, I'm doing it wrong, but you know, I just want to make a point and show you that you know, I made changes in this particular photo. So there you go. She's no longer pale because of the edit. Um, it looks a lot better. You can also use it to make fake fairy lights or fake lights or fake stars and all that let me show you just click new so you can create a new uh, uh, brush extend the exposure to the to one uh, to the highest exposure highlights would also be at the highest and then make sure the size is small like you know like a small dot so if you fire away you'll be able to create tiny stars in the sky you could increase the size of that so you could have different sized stars on top so there and the last process I do is I put a vignette over the picture so just go to the presets on the side and then select vignette 2 and there you go that is my final picture so let's take a look at the before photo and then the edited photo so it's a lot more Instagram worthy um, you know you could always play around with the settings of this you know I only became accustomed to Lightroom because I always played around it you can never be an expert in first try so I suggest that you take a lot of photos and try editing them until you know you find your style and your own aesthetic I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, if ever you're gonna be editing pictures make sure you use the hashtag night lights aesthetic and make sure you tag me so I could, I could go ahead and give comments or retweet it or like it or, or share it to our followers all right I hope you guys enjoyed that my name is Jira Senesei and thank you for watching Pinoy Interactive videos bye bye